Like you heard, they said Myra Carey's sister, you heard that? No. Myra Carey's sister accuses mom of horrific sex abuse. Was Mariah Carey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Accuses mom of horrific sex abuse, shocking satanic rituals. It's Myra Carey's sister accusing a mom. Myra Carey's troubled sister has claimed in a wild court filing that their mother let strangers abuse her when she was just 10. And made her watch child sex orgies and sacrifices during satanic rituals. Allison Carey, who was previously been busted for prostitution and HIV positive, made the stunning allegations against her 83-year-old mother, Patricia, in a Supreme Court summons earlier this year in Ulster County record show. She says she wants to use New York's Child Victims Act, which temporarily waives the statute of limitation in underage sex cases, to sue her mom claiming alleged abuse caused PSTD, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and drug abuse that derailed her life. Mm. Well, of course, I mean, if anybody go through the type of rituals, you ain't never going to be the same. Look at Will Smith, kids. Yeah. Look at fucking uh, Magic Johnson's son, Dwayne Wade. All them niggas, they do the same yeah. thing. Like and that's why, like we said, Myra, not Myra Carey, that's why Kanye West was crying. Yeah. He said, I got to save my daughter. Because he know the deal, man. Somebody from the brotherhood like, yo, I want that little girl, man. You know he gonna have to give it up. That's just so. What are you isn't saying? It, like, isn't Mariah Carey mom Edomite? Yeah. Yeah, her dad is a Israelite, right? Her dad is from dark skin. Yeah, Asherite from Venezuela. Oh man. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So this thing run. This thing run deep, man. This thing run deep, man. These base people are into it. I remember the guy broke it down. He said doctors, lawyers, principals. All those people be at those meetings. Okay? It's not just these celebrities. It's levels, man. Okay? But everything is coming out in these last days, man. Yeah. Right? Not too long ago, we brought out the Wayfair situation. Mm-hmm. They high price furniture. Yeah. Exposed. And they were named after children that were missing. And what made them really look guilty, and to show you how the mainstream media, none of these guys tackle it like it never happened. What made them totally guilty, they scrapped the website. When it came out, they scrapped the website. It was The website was down. Then when the website came back up, they changed the description to the things. So why did you change the description? If it's, if it's a total lie, why pull down the website and why change the description to the, uh, to the items? $13,000 for some basic ass shit, some draw, man. Ain't no damn table draw they're getting, man. That's, that was just all codes, man. You know, the pet, the pedophile must have known. Let me put the person's name in. Okay, I see this. I like that person. I'm gonna pay. Act like he buying furniture. He really purchasing a damn little girl or boy, man. This shit was just happening in plain sight, man. Right. And then you have the whole Jeffrey Epstein and his pedo island, right? And it, and it show you how, like we said, how corrupt the system is. The feds knew about Jeffrey Epstein Island since 2003 probably even before that because they probably was lying in that documentary to save ass but even so how could you know he has a pedal island for 16 years man that man should have had the death penalty a long time ago man because if a, if a dog attacks a child they put that dog down man but you have a guy that's popping little girls man on a daily basis, man, and has a whole island just full of them. And then all kind of guys are going in and out. Clinton went there for 20 times. You know what I'm saying? Bill Clinton, wicked ass, man. Okay, the most high revealing your ass too, man. Okay, Prince Andrew and a whole bunch of other celebrities, man, and billionaires and politicians. Okay? Because he had a book. One thing that was smart about him, he kept a book. To, to, uh, yeah, to, yeah. In case those people came up against him, the log book, right? He had a log book of all of them who um, came to his island, man. So he could blackmail them. See, and now you know why they got rid of him. It was just too much information, man. Yeah. He hanged himself in his cell, and his his uh his prison guards didn't see nothing. <laughs> oh man, that's funny, man. You know and I mean, the media just be lying a lot, man. Yeah. He saw the one, man. Yeah. Like, excuse me, matter of fact, let's get at Ephesians 2 and 1, man. <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. 
Which, he, which Epstein, if he in the spiritual realm, he gonna come back in chains, man. Uh, that's right. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. that's all, man. That bastard going to slavery for a thousand years, man. All right. All that wicked ass shit he was doing. I'm saying, how could you penetrate a eight, seven year old girl? Like, it's with these guys' minds, man. But they're Satanists, man. Mm -hmm. They the Luciferians, man. And they know they go back to Cain and Esau. You see, the type of thoughts that you have, sympathy, they don't care. Like there was, there was, which is true. They said when 9-11 happened, the, um, when the buildings went down, they said a Rothschilds was in like in a building across the street on the top floor looking at it. Eating, um, drinking wine and just looking at the whole thing play out. Man. They don't give a shit at all them people burn, man. Okay? That was a, that was a sacrifice. Alright, go ahead. They're about to do some shit again. Yeah. Alright, go ahead. Ephesians 2 verse 1. And you have and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Where in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. Prince of the power of the air. Alright? Starting with the elite on down. Because they control the media. They control all outlets of the media, man. They control the news reports, they control TV, they control the papers. Esau controls everything. That's when Nick Cannon made that 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 true statement, right? He had to retract it quick because he understand, look, if I want to remain on TV, I cannot say nothing against these people. He knows that, man. Okay? But you did it to yourself. Nobody told you to make that statement, man. You're going to make something stand on it, man. Be a man, man. Right. Don't make it then retract, man. Yeah. But what it is is that you love the, the um, like the scripture says, you love the praise of men more than the praise of the Most High. All right? And that's perfectly fine. Because when Yahweh Shai come back, you already know what's going to happen to you, man. But you denied him. You denied him, man. This was the most noteworthy thing you could have done in your entire life. Nigga want to save some bullshit, wilding out show. What's on that show, man? Folly, okay? Man. Nothing but folly, man. And you had it for, what, 14 seasons? It's time to move on, man. Yeah, move on, man. Like, What's yeah. wrong with you, man? Is, come on, man. Get past that bullshit, man. All right? And it can't be no more wilding out. It's the social distancing and all that crazy shit. So that shit is dead anyway. Yeah. All right? What you got? I'm reading on down. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we had... We all had our conversation in times past and the lust of our flesh. Yeah, so we were all underneath that vibration. The prince of the power of the air. And we were all caught up into his media, and his lies, and his religion. But how about Shemiel Shah had mercy? Okay, he woke us up, man. He pulled up, pulled back that veil, man. Okay? Now we now we totally see. Matter of fact, get Revelation in the second chapter. His revelation. Mm, let's see. Hold on one second. I think it's. I think it's Revelation 3. Let me hear Revelation 3 and 18 and everything. God. Revelation 3 and verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. Yeah, which, you know, if you, if you had an illness in your eye, you would take, you know, certain eye drops, whatever. I saw to open up y'all, but this is spiritual. Yeah. Okay? This is spiritual, man. Go ahead. Verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and trust it. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And that's why Yahweh Shai came at us, man. Through certain men on down. Yeah. Alright, you coming into this truth. That was that was us repenting. He gave me that eye salve to see. Yeah. See? The majority of people out here, they don't have the eye salve. They're in darkness, man. Gross darkness. Uh, 
That's why Yahweh Shai said in John 3.19, you're going to get that. So everything is being brought to life, man. Everything, man. A lot of people you think are just normal people walking up and down. These people are doing all kind of wickedness, man. Handing their kids over for boy Jesus. Watching them watch all kind of crazy ass porn. I mean, dude, what, what kind of shit? Society is just. just we got to get out of here, man. Mm -hmm. We got to get the hell out of this place, man. And that Esau is so bold now, he's just bringing it out um, in these classrooms, man. I mean, now everything is shut down to social distance, but he integrated that into um, their curriculum, the whole LGBTQ yeah. thing in their curriculum. Mm -hmm. And they were bringing out information on how Disney, all them guys are, are pedos, man. Sesame Street, Bert and Ernie, right? Which Family Guy used to Ben show that back in the day. They used to show them in a bed together. You used to be like, what the hell are they doing showing that shit? But not knowing you, they were telling you the truth. That the maker of it was gay. Yeah. All right? Something that was for kids. The niggas popping each other, man. Yeah. That was a love story. You see? But they put it for children, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see? The prince of the power of the year, man. Right. Go okay. ahead. From Galatians 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door. And not if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him. And what's that voice, man? The comforter, man. Yeah. Comforter, man. All right. Which that was just talking about your, your mind. All right. You, matter of fact, get Jeremiah four three. Jeremiah chapter four verse three. And it reads. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fellow ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your heart. Of your minds. Break up the fallow ground, man. Okay? Don't sow among thorns, man. Yeah. And you may what? The scripture says what? Circumcise your heart. Mm -hmm. Right? Pull back the foreskin off your heart, man, or your mind. See, that's the main circumcision. That's right. It's not the main circumcision. It's not what you're supposed to get it done in your rod anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because it just shows that you truly believe. But the main circumcision is your heart and your mind. Okay? It's called what? Repentance. Because the Jew, a lot of our people back then, the Israelites, the circumcision, they didn't believe in Yahweh was shy. So they were physically circumcised, but mentally they weren't. Right. Right? The Pharisees and Sanchees were circumcised, but they didn't believe on the Mashiach. So that didn't mean anything anyway. Okay? You gotta put the time of repentance. Like you said, the gates is closing. Both sides about to start making some moves, more moves. Because it's already been moving throughout the earth. Let's get that Ezekiel 7. Ezekiel 7 and 1? Yeah, let's go. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 1. Moreover, the word of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushua, came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord power unto the land of Israel, and end is and end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Stop here. Now is the end come upon thee. And I will send mine anger upon thee. And how the most I gonna send his anger? Send an Esau. Yeah. And other plagues that's coming. That's, that's right. his anger. Okay? That's what you see all the anger of the Lord playing out right now. Mm -hmm. It's saying worldwide, it's just not America, everywhere, man. So let's say even if you knew shit was going down and you wanna leave this country, most I gonna get you any way you go anyway, man. Where are you gonna go to, man? The whole world is about to get judged, man. Mm -hmm. Shit is happening worldwide, man. Uh -huh. All right? Okay? So the only place you can hide is in a secret place. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay? And we'll judge thee according to thy ways. Yeah, because, you know, we told that other Edomite you should leave, but you should. But even if he knew, the most, most high still won't get his ass anyway, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to go run to Italy, the Lord still won't get your ass off there, man. That's right. Okay? No matter where you run to, man. Yeah, the most high is, is going to be a catastrophe happening worldwide. Okay? 
worldwide, man. Shit gonna be going down on this earth, man. People gonna be like, what the hell? Everybody's gonna know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the end. That's right. Most sides gonna make it manifest to everybody. All right, go ahead. And will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. What verse is it? What verse is that? That was verse uh, 4, my verse 5. Yeah, read on down there, 6 to 7. Come on, come on. Ezekiel 7 and 5 Thus saith the Lord power And evil and only evil behold is come And end is come The end is come It watches for thee Behold it is come The end is come The end is come It watches for thee Behold It's come It's here It's right It's here man It's right That whole Ezekiel is powerful man It's that whole chapter Because Ezekiel was one of the captives outside the city uh -oh. He was between Babylon and Israel. Yeah. And then a Mosai took his spirit and brought him to Jerusalem and showed him the things that were going on. What the, what the high what high priests were doing. Okay? Sure, and he said, go out there and prophesy amongst them, man. And Ezekiel saw the chariots too, man. Yeah. Saw the chariots of Israel. He saw the, the, the glory of the Mosai over the temple. He saw when the angels came in and smoked the city in Ezekiel, mm -hmm. the ninth chapter. That's right. Then later on, in, um, the, um, the Most High took his wife away from him, Ezekiel. And then later on in the chapter, he saw the visions of the end. Man. He saw it. Then he saw the Most the Mosai took his spirit and showed him America. Yeah. Forget just Babylon. Then Most High showed him the future, the valley, the dry bones. Yeah. He said, "What the hell's going on here?" And he told Ezekiel, "Listen, go out there and prophesy amongst them." Ezekiel back, and we ended up coming in the spirit of Ezekiel, doing what the Most High told us to do, man. Mm -hmm. Prophesying unto these bones that they may live, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So the prophets saw heavy visions, and most of the things they saw, they did not understand because it wasn't the time. Now is the time we understand it now. Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what they tried to describe it the best way they could to you. Yeah. You know, they said it looked like a wheel within a wheel. You know, they're talking about the chariots of Israel, what right. they so-called UFOs. Mm -hmm. Right, or arrows shot to the ends of the world. We know that's the missiles. I see people get something in their hand and they pour it. We know that's the chip. We have a, under, a better understanding. Right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, verse seven, Ezekiel seven and seven. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time has come. The day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. That whole chapter is good. Man. Yeah. We have verse twenty-two. The time of trouble is come. Come. Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. On verse twenty-two, Ezekiel seven and twenty-two, my face will I turn also from thee, from them, and they shall pollute my secret place. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Which his face is his mercy. They said it defile. See, what's the most high secret place? The temple. All right. The temple, man. But we know that the temple is not a physical temple anymore. It's spiritual. Yeah. Starts with Jehovah Shai. That's the secret place of the Most High. Okay? We have the book in our hand. Believing on the word, man. Because the word is your shield, your buckler, and all of that. All in one. It's going to keep you stable in times that's coming. That's the mm -hmm. secret place. Mm -hmm. And there's a secret because the majority of people don't understand it, man. Mm -hmm. See? Right. Is there anything more? Let me hear. Uh, verse 23 Make a chain For the land is full of bloody crimes And the city is full of violence Wherefore I will bring The worst of the heathen And they shall possess their houses Man that's a good That's a good lesson in this south Yeah That That had the most I said I'm going to bring the worst of the heathen So we know that's talking about Esau Because the scripture says He's the border Of, of wickedness, wickedness Right so the most I say he's gonna send the worst of the heathen. And what? Read it again. Verse 24. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pump of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. 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 Okay. And uh, this 
not just Israel. It's gonna get the ass handed to them. All you nations, man. Uh. Any nation that's here, when all hell break loose, you're done. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're done. Man. There ain't gonna be no hope for you. Man. Okay. Even if you get past the famine and the, the, the cannibalism and the race riots and Esau set up his nukes and other disasters, that's what the missile surely gonna get you. With the wrong right along with your shot. Anybody that don't get beamed up is going to be a sacrifice, mm -hmm. especially in Babylon, America. Man. All right, because the Lord told Ezekiel, get Jeremiah the first chapter. We said I made him a prophet of the nations. Come. Jeremiah 1 and verse 4. Then the word of Yahweh, Barsham Yahusha, came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Mm, I ordained thee a prophet of the nations. So Jeremiah just wasn't a prophet for Israel, just like us. He was a prophet for the nations, man. And what are the prophets supposed to do, man? What are we supposed to say? Are we supposed to say good tidings and peace and, and love for the world? And coming together and holding hands kumbaya and all that other bullshit. Okay, the low sign with none of that, man. Right. We're in a time of death and destruction. Mm -hmm. Like the scripture says, the end is come, the end is come. Behold, Behold it is come, man. Okay, we had to prophesy the end. All right, the end of this man's rulership, the end of this society. Like he told Jeremiah, the classic precept, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Con. Jeremiah chapter 28. Even, even. Verse 8. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And then again. Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. So that's what the prophets did. Most I sent you a prophet. He ain't coming to tell you something nice, man. He's going to prophesy of what, read? Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. So the prophets of the nations, like Jeremiah was, they prophesied against many countries. Mm -hmm. right? And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And don't we see that happening right now? War, the evils that's coming, all the prophecies is hitting. And pestilence, you got this whole COVID-19, right. right, pandemic or pandemic. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to be even more grievous uh, pestilences, man. They're going to release more diseases, man. They're, people already fell for the first round, this whole COVID-19, and they're going to have their mandatory vaccinations, man. That's right. And that's what faith, that's what your faith got to be high in that time like that, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Which the Lord already gave us the tools to follow Revelation the second chapter, he said to be faithful unto death, death right. and I will give thee a crown of life. Mm -hmm. How much people willing to take that step? Not much, only the elect, man. Uh -huh. And that's when the most high fights for you the hardest. When you see you going all out, you go, I'm ready to get my life in this thing. Bam, that's when that power come, man. That's when that deliverance be coming through, man. Yeah. Like, yo, this is a true son of the most high, man. That's what your name Israel means, Yasharala, man. Prince of the power. A prince of the power, man. A son of the heavenly father, man. Okay? But if you're taking up guns and all that other crazy shit, Lord, it can't, he can't work for you, man. Okay? Because you're trying to save yourself. Okay? You're trying to save yourself, man. And we're going to need a higher power. That was a scripture floating in my mind. I can't. Oh, get Habakkuk 2 and 1. Oh, yeah, no Labor Day this year. Wicked ass Benjamites and Levites. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going out there acting like a damn fool, man. I shook down this year, too. And you see how wicked that whole Black Lives Matter was? They couldn't have a gay parade this year, but the gay people had um, joined hand in hand with the whole Black Lives Matter. See? Wow. Yeah. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 I will stand upon my watch And set me upon the tower And will watch to see what he will say unto me So we are upon the tower What are we watching for? The prophecies That's right 
We're upon the watchtower. And we looking. The enemy is coming. We're looking what he's planning. And we're bringing it out. Okay? That's what we come out and prophesy that we do videos. Constantly warning the flock, man. Okay? And it's how many jakes have walked past us today that have no interest, man? When all hell break loose, they're going to be scratching their head, looking for answers. Yeah. Or they can't feed themselves. Mm -hmm. The brother had the dream of the famine. Yeah. Okay? Um, he said that, um, even though people could get to food, they had no strength to eat it. Yeah, yeah. I think even they try to eat it, they just threw it back up and they're yeah. throwing up blood. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't do it. See? Couldn't do it, man. Even if they do get access to food in that time, their body just gonna reject it. Mm -hmm. That's the terror of the Lord. Wow. That's gonna be the, that's the terror of Yahweh Mahashim, Yahweh Even if you do get that food or that water, your body just gonna reject it. Mm -hmm. You just gonna stay there and just die. Yeah. Alright? Wow. That's the most high not playing, man. Uh -huh. That's why he gave you this this all this time to get right. What you got? Um Habakkuk 2 verse 1, reading on down. And will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon table. And that's what, that, that's what the, the prophets did. It was on stone, then it was in scrolls, and now we got everything neatly in the book. Alright? It's plain upon tables, good. That he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not like God. Oh people been saying that since my grandmother was around, right? Well, guess what? In the end, it shall speak. All right? When your grandma was around, they ain't have no microchip, man. In the hand or the forehead, man. All right. Okay, when your grandma was around, they ain't have no nuclear missiles, man. All right, this World War III breaking out, man. Okay, that time is now, man. Okay, especially with this whole microchip technology, the Neuralink, and the, um, which there's ready people with it in their hand already. All right? For you guys to say it's Christianity, what you got to say about Neuralink, man? They're putting microchips in your brain. What you got to say about that? Is that Christianity too? Nah, brother, it's that's talking about an embargo. An embargo between nations. Yo, yo man, listen. If you want to follow them guys, you're welcome to do so. You have the liberty to do so. Alright? Alright? Because it's plain as day now with the micro the mark of the pieces, man. Right? It's plain. Like we see it. Okay? Esau's end goal, he want a microchip. Like we said, we already see people in their hand. And the neural link just solidified it even more. We're putting it in your head. And they said they could put up to at least 10 of them in your head. So, boy. Okay? That's, that's, that's plain as day. What else you got in here? I'll read it on down. But at the end, it shall speak and so, not lie. So the end, you see all the prophecies speaking. We went through a rundown of all the things that will happen this week. Mm -hmm. You're saying we probably didn't even cover all of it, man. It's just a lot, man. Like we said, the hurricanes, the wildfires, fireball in China, Lebanon, Belgium fire, India, plane going off the thing, Siberia. You know what I'm saying? This, this fool in L.A. talking about cut your power off. We have large gatherings. You know what I'm saying? Those are unrighteous decrees, man. Ira Carey, uh, sister, came out and said about the, the satanic ritual she had to endure as a child. That woman is in her 50s, man. So over, um, um, what, what, in the 19, what, 60s or something like that? Or, or the 1970s? I don't know how old she is. I think she's 58. I don't know how old she is. 60s, 70s, when she was a little child, um, her, 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 she was subject to those things, man. That's probably why, that's probably how Mariah Carey got famous. Hell yeah, that's how she got famous. Part of part of yeah. yeah. There's many people that could sing. That's a common thing with Jake. There's many people that could sing, man. Yeah. Right? And with the woman, it's worse. Because yeah. they got more holes. See? And all these Myra Carey, Whitney Houston, the Rihannas, the Beyonce, forget about Beyonce. Beyonce is totally gone. Right? She's totally out of there, man. That's a straight up witch right there, man. Right? 
she traded in her sanity for riches and fame a long time ago. She's not even there. She's on the same level as Kanye. Yeah. All right? Which, man? All right? And she don't even look like she can have a basic conversation with you, man. That woman look like she's so far gone. It's not rich. She look totally gone, man. I haven't seen her doing this or anything speaking in a long you know, time. In a minute, man. You know? But that, that's what they wanted. So everything, like you said, is coming out. And on top of that, um, not only the Myra Carey, but the Epsteins and the Weinsteins, and all they, they shit that they were doing as well is being brought to life. Yeah. And in that same Habakkuk, we're going to read it. Yeah. Read verse 16. Come right. on down. Want to finish this out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, and that's what people think. Oh, you guys been out here how many years? I seen the Israelites back in the um, the eighties talking the same shit. Well, guess what? Now, it, it, the script said, "Doi Tari will take long. Wait for it." Now it's surely coming to pass. In twenty twenty, like we said, everything is hitting, man. And that's how we know we're coming close to the end because things is happening at a rapid pace, man. Yeah. So yeah, that's a future missile. Um, that's a future body right there, man. Right. You've been seeing that all the, all the, all the time. Because a lot of the Greener Brothers talking, a lot of these Jakes, a lot of these so-called high-value men, Jakes high position, they want nothing to do with Eve anymore, man. They done with Eve, man. So Eve now what? She jumped, she going back to her former love. Mm -hmm. See? The, the, the original marriage from the beginning. You just seen it right there on camera. You know what I mean? <laughs> and guess what? They both going to burn together holding hands. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Because a woman like that can't run to the prophets in the end, man. You know? Like that brother, that same brother did a video.